Happening today, the Lilac Festival is welcoming the public in at Highland Park at 10.30 this morning for the first time in, well, almost two years. Yeah, so many looking forward to this. Over the past few months, we've been talking about uh, to organizers about all the changes and what they're doing to keep everybody safe during a pandemic. Eric Hedekos joining us live from the festival grounds with details on this. Good morning, Eric Hedekos. Good morning, Aaliyah. Well, months and months of planning since January, we're told, working with the county to make this possible. They say they can do it safely. They're ready. Starts today. I'm in the special events tent and join with me is Jess Spring at one of the lead organizers in all of this. So let's start off by just letting our viewers know if they want to just get in their car with their family, come here 1030. What do they need to know? Basics. They need to know first where to park. Uh, which is on 1440 South Avenue. The entrance is at the Vietnam Veterans uh, entrance to that memorial. Uh, there is a fee to park the cars. Uh, I do have a mask, but I'm not wearing it for this purpose. Uh, they need to know to bring a mask and wear a mask while they're in the park and walking around the park. There's never an admission charge to come into Highland Park. So the park is for, uh, admission is free. The lilacs are starting to bloom. It's a good weekend to come out. They're in our favor. Uh, and the, we're in the special events tent, which is one of the few ticketed uh, venues in the festival. Uh, there's nothing happening tonight or today in the park, in the special events tent. It starts tomorrow. Uh, with a craft beer expo, which unfortunately, or fortunately for those who have a ticket, is sold out. Uh, but there is another craft beer expo the following Saturday, the 15th of May. The arts and craft show starts Saturday and Sunday up on Reservoir Avenue, and it will be held each of the three Saturdays and Sundays, 10 to 6 on Saturday, 10 to 5 on Sunday. There's no fee to get into the arts and craft show, but there is a limited capacity so that we can keep people will safely distance between one another. Uh, there are four small food courts with food trucks, two up at the, uh, two sections up at each end of the Reservoir uh, Avenue. They'll be open today. And there's two uh, in what I call the mini bowl where the entertainment usually is. All there. right, I'm gonna just cut you off there. We're gonna wrap it up really quickly because I wanna I'll let our viewers know we're gonna be back here uh, in the next half hour to talk more about what events you can expect that aren't here in the special events tent. And that includes a kids area. So we'll bring you all those details in a bit, Leah. Yeah, there's a lot going on there. We look forward to that. Eric, thank you for a full list of events at this year's Lilac Festival. Head to rochesterfirst.com.